What is going on, you guys? Madam Rose Beef here. Let me take my goddamn headphones off. <laughs> but uh, so so this video, guys, gotta be honest, it, it 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 is a video that I have been waiting, guys, waiting to make. And not only did I film already my entire reaction to the uh the debate, she filmed also, and, and this will probably be the video they upload. Um, I filmed my reaction mostly to Blair White's reaction to the, to the debate I, wa I watched the debate on my own as you can see right here what i filmed was like an hour and 45 minutes uh, of me watching and reacting reacting to the, to the debate and the video and i think it's very important and i wanted to film something for the beginning just saying that hi i'm adam rose beef in case you don't know hello i uh I i'm a gay man i'm a gay man and i i actually have brain cancer i'm a disabled gay man um, and I, I, I used to have really, really, really chronic and terrible gender dysphoria as a, as a little, little gay boy. And, and I, I'm, I'm reacting to this and I, I'm talking about this conversation as, as from the perspective of someone that used to have chronic gender dysphoria. I hate it. I hate ma- I still do to this day for the most part. I hate masculinity. I think it's, I think it's hot. <laughs> you know, parts of it I think I, I find sexually attractive at the same time. Hated hated being a man. It bothered me so much. As a little gay kid, if I was growing up today, 111% I would I would I would transition. I would I would I would have almost no choice. And looking at it from the perspective of 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 it from today, having grown up in you know the early 2000s and and the 2010s and everything, I'm so 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 fucking happy. That I grew up when I did because I I would not want to transition. I have brain cancer, girl. I don't need to have a whole another medical medical condition, a whole another medical procedure, surgeries. I don't need to deal with that. And and my issue with transitioning and and pushing kids to transition and letting kids transition is let people grow the fuck up before you irreversibly mutilate their fucking bodies. And and that 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 really is. I know that sounds dark and scary and. Oh my God! How controversial that is. What's happened? That 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 is what's happening to people that that transition at a young age. They're being irreversibly mutilated. Some of them can never have an orgasm for the rest of their life. And I'm not going to be the kind of bitch that's not going to talk about it and say it's fucked up because it's disgusting, it's horrible, and it makes me furiously sick. How many how many little little little, little gay boys, little gay girls, just would have been gay, just would have been a lesbian, are being pushed down? You need to transition. You need to you know, transition. Cut off your titties. Th that conversation, like like when little girls that are uncomfortable with the fact that they're growing breasts, that are uncomfortable with the fact that they're having their period, that are being pushed to transition because it's the right fit. It's it's fucked up. It's so horrible, and I and I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. And I'm very glad uh, that Jubilee filmed this video. I I like Jubilee. There's a few things that Blair said about the edit and everything that I thought were very uncomfortable, and I'm so scared but i like jubilee i i as like i said as a disabled gay man like i said who has brain cancer and has been living with it since i was 18 years old i have um in my opinion a very unique experience with with life and and living and and i want to share that with the world and that's that's what i'm trying to do with my with my youtube channel so make sure girl to start it off make sure that you are subscribed to your bitch and follow her on twitch Follow me on Twitch and subscribe if you can and or if you want to. I don't want to be weird and force you to. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you up at gunpoint. But at the same time, guys, life, this world, it's so fucked up. And I think it's it's so important that we have the conversation of whether or not what is happening right now to the trans community is okay and acceptable. Because I don't think it is. I think it's really fucked up. I think I, I Just to be honest and, and be blunt, I think it's fucked up. I am the most progressive. I used to be... Blue or die. And I still I still only do vote Democrat. I'm not actually ever going to vote Republican. That's fucking mentally Ill and crazy, in my opinion. In my opinion, I think that's crazy. <laughs> but um, but at the same time, it's really hard. It's hard not to agree with conservative, you know, transsexuals, people that are transgender. It's hard not to agree from the, with the conservative standpoint, especially I used to be the most... I, I In all the debate classes I took, in all the government classes, I was always as progressive as liberal, as blue as possible. But I, I, I can't help but not agree with people that are 
trans and, and concerned. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I, I, I'm unable to, I think it's important. And I feel that I need, that I need to speak up. I don't know, guys, I, I'm having a hard time. This video was really emotional for me to film and, it, and it's going to take a lot of me mentally, emotionally and physically to, to, to get uploaded. But I hope you enjoy it when you see it. Blair, I do love you. <laughs> I know that, I know that Blair won't see this, but, but I love Blair White and it, I, and I actually just lost a friend, um, over the last, the last Blair White reaction that I posted just the other day. I lost a friend of like four years, four plus years over me posting that video. And it, I, I had to be honest, that was not a friend. That, that, that I did not lose an actual friend. I would not lose a friend over agreeing, agreeing with someone that's conservative. That's fucking, that's pathetic and that's crazy. That's insane. It, Especially when I'm agreeing with, with a transsexual conservative. So what? Like, what the fuck? So what? Blair used to, used to support Donald Trump. I think that's the dumbest thing in the world. I think anyone that would do that is a fool. At the same time, Blair has her reasons, and I'm not going to ever... I'm not going to hate people because they're, they're conservative. That's crazy. And that's why it's so hard for me, as a bleeding heart liberal, as a blue, blue, blue bitch, as a Democrat, it's hard for me... When I hear trans conservatives, it's it's so hard for me not to agree with them 110%. Because what's happening right now is so dangerous and it's so scary. I'll, I'll let my reaction play, but... Crazy video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And I love you. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? Madam Roast Beef here. And guys, this video... I have to be honest, this video is crazy. Because I have... I already recorded, literally... Here. Let me get it, let me get it on the screen for you guys. I already recorded uh, my reaction to the Jubilee episode, and it literally, it's like over an hour and 50 minutes that I that I put in. And I was going to edit it and like make it all look nice, but then Blair actually put out. But then Blair actually put out her reaction to the trans debate so i'm i think i'm gonna watch blair's reaction guys just because like i said i don't know i i, I don't want to make it sound like i didn't support anyone else on the panel because i obviously support everyone in their uh, you know gender ideology and their gender uh their gender journey finding who you are and being yourself i think that is so important as a little gay boy that had gender dysphoria trust and believe me like it's hard i think understanding who we are and and coming to terms with it and accepting it and embracing it and i and as liberal as it gets, guys, always have, always will, I vote Democratic. Because I think voting Republican is the dumbest thing anyone could do. And just because I think that is the dumbest thing anyone could do does not mean that I don't support Blair White. Like, like, sure, do I disagree with 97% of her um, political opinions? Probably, yeah, of course, of course. I, I'm a Democrat. I'm a, I'm a liberal lady. At the same time, at the same time... I like Blair and I and I support her and I think that there are a lot of things that she says, especially regarding trans. The the trans conversation, I think it is so I think it's so important to listen to. And I think it's important to listen to, especially because Blair is trans and has been for like how many like a like what what a, a dec over a decade now? Like it's it, it's it's fucking crazy to me. And I I just think it's so important. So so let's go here. Where do we go? Where the fuck is the video? Here, I just got to go to my history, I guess. Hello. Here it is. And we're going to watch this. We're going to restart the video. We're going to unlike the video and relike the video. Give Blair some love. Hello, Blair. And uh, let's get into this reaction. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous, guys, because I, I really, I really am afraid. At the same time, I'm not afraid because I already watched the whole video, but I'm afraid of, of like the real, the, the real behind the scenes look that we're going to get at, the, at this video from Blair. That, that's the part that scares me. Edit out. Oh, the bodyguards outside, but the rest of shit isn't, you know. Mm -hmm. The bodyguards outside, keep it real cute now. Yeah, you're disgusting. And I have to, I, Bye. trust Bye. me. <laughs> I'm disgusting. The Party City clown costume called me disgusting. <laughs> you see me raising my hand because every time I tried to speak, that director said cut. No, Blair, you talk last. That's your rule. Blair's special rule Crazy. is you're not allowed to talk until the end. Literally, this the is day terrifying. has arrived. 
it is time to react to the trans civil war. <laughs> oh my God. It's time to react to this crazy Jubilee debate. I was a part it of it. It was so crazy. In LA. Um, you guys know it's been a lot of hype coming up to this, right? I've been sort of raising the alarm for, you know, the weeks in between filming that and now. Right. Uh, over a few things because and I've just been so- concerned about how it's going to be edited, Patience. you know. There was a clear bias in the room because Jubilee, the channel, is, you know, they're libs, which is fine. Uh, but there's a bias, even if they're not doing it out of, you know, any sort of malice. There's, there's always a bias with everyone, right? And so right. for me, I've been a part of so many debates where the editing is just so clearly biased that I'm a bit jaded. And so I'm kind of like, all right, let's see how this goes. So before we start this insanity and I get oh these God. PTSD symptoms. <laughs> that I'm sure to experience. And I jump right back into this hellish experience that I had. Um, And I'm laughing at someone that does have and has been diagnosed with PTSD. Fucker. Will be edited out that I hope are not. Blossom, one of the participants on the other side, I hope that her violent threat is not edited out. Oh my God, I'm so scared of this. I hope that it's live, loud, and in color. As loud loud as she was the rest of the episode. Right. She was so loud. It was so disrespectful. I hope that the end, there's a situation at the end where my mic is off and they start personally attacking me and I have no mic to really defend myself with audio. I hope that's in just to see how unfair that was. I don't think I even noticed that. Um, the first there's time a moment I where the, the, the moderator cuts me off and allows Blossom to get some fake mic drop moment on me um, about a racial insult. And they release a sneak peek where even the sneak peek is edited deceptively because it makes it seem as if I rolled over when the moderator cut me off. When oh, in reality, God. there was a while I'm where so I was going off on the I'm so nervous to see Blair react to this. I'm so scared. Where I made it clear that but I guess if I'm I, having a racial I want to see the real, the real tea thrown. I'm allowed to respond to it. And during that, Blossom kept making that insult and screamed it. I don't think I even noticed so, that the first time. What I hope that's fuck? accurate. Um, I, I think hope it is that the be context accurate. for the beginning of the debate where the libs oh derail God. it with personal attacks against me and completely take it off topic and the moderator lets it go on forever. Hope that's kept in. Um, but, you know, overall, even though I seem a little salty, I am going into this optimistic. I am going into this hoping that it's edited as true to reality as possible. Being a non-binary person that sometimes has the choice to either go into a men's restroom looking like this. You can look at me looking no, it's, like this. It's just interesting. I thought this was a trans debate. That's oh, what no. I thought. <laughs> non-binary, I thought people. non-binary people. Non-binary people fall under the trans, trans umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe you can educate yourself. But there is a, a difference. Bit. But there is a difference. And I'm Why right back is it hard it. to say it? There is a I'm difference. I'm back. Like, what the fuck? Back in that warehouse with those hot lights, <laughs> that lack of AC, and these demons surrounding me. How this clown, and I'm saying clown, because not even to be incendiary, right? Not even in like a, oh, you're stupid way or, or whatever. I'm saying literally, you went down to Party City. You picked up that $39.99 Halloween clown outfit. <laughs> what, what, three weeks till Halloween? <laughs> They just put it on like the who shelf. Would, who would do that? Who you would grabbed that? it and you thought you could walk onto a trans debate dressed as a clown telling a transsexual woman that you're here to educate her on anything, first that of all. That is crazy. But especially on something to do with and trans. Guys, and guys, when I say who would wear that, I don't mean who would wear that. Who the fuck would wear that? I mean, I mean, transsexuals, real Real people that are transgender, real, real transgender people, they don't wear like a, a, a shock that looks like it's been pl- paint splattered because they were getting ready to paint the fucking Mona Lisa. Like, 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 like that is not, that is not what an average trans person looks like. And I understand that this, these debates are supposed to include all aspects of, of, of everything, but it, 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 it really is absurd. In my opinion, it's a little crazy. Yes. To like, because it makes trans nuts. people look like they are you're crazy nuts. and they're not. Your whole ball sack. For you to even <laughs> open it with, as a non binary person, it shows that there's a difference. Right? One thing I know for sure I didn't have to say this entire shoot was, as a trans person, because that's assumed, right? It's a trans debate and everyone sitting there is trans or supposed to be. So, there's a difference. why would I need to do that? So, for you to even open it with, well, as a non binary person, you're admitting there's a difference, there's a difference right difference. then and there exactly between trans 
and non-binary. Exactly. And like I said, and I hope it's in the edit, I'm sure there is a non-binary Jubilee episode, right? Hopefully it's coming soon. Fun fact, that's crazy. Jubilee has been trying to get me to do debates for months and months now. Asking me for to be involved in a, a few debates. I think it was like two or three. That yeah, the non-binary person was there just and they to just stir didn't feel drama, right. They weren't to topics stir I was trouble. extremely that passionate was it. about. That was it. That's and the so only I reason. didn't, or topics I didn't feel like I had a lot to say on. That was the only was super educated on. And I passed. So the fact that you got asked to do a trans debate and you didn't pass and say, I'll let the trans people do it. That's nuts. crazy. It's crazy. Right. You were basically Rachel Dolezal on a black women's issues panel. That's what uh -huh. you were. My You're God. appropriating a medical condition. And I was worried they weren't going to make it clear that I, I brought it to attention, that I had an issue with him being there. Huh. And from what I'm seeing, it's the first moment. So the first, the first opening that, that, scene. Looking up, looking up. That's fine. I think I think and I could educate then you. Then you figure out. I think I could educate you. you know what right. reality is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's just so crazy <laughs> to me. It's such a it's such an important topic. It is a safety concern for trans women to share. And guys, I've never agreed with any it's conservative ever. That's why I, I'm so. This afraid. is already edited. Wrong. Why? This is not chronological order. This was oh, not the no. first prompt. The first prompt was trans military. And that's the prompt that the libs derailed and made it about two minutes in before making oh my God, they edited it intense out of personal attacks at me, spit roasting me, Why double teaming do me, Jubilee and de deliberating the validity, validity of my career. And went on and on and on with the moderator not stepping in at all for a while. So... Oh no, this is crazy. <laughs> this is already not in order. And I wanted that to be true to time because it gives context for why I lose my mind in this yeah, debate. Yeah, for why and you're angry. Come across exactly. so intense and so combative in this debate. That's so true. I just order, knew chronological that order. if they don't have that derailment in the beginning, at the beginning of the video, it's going to look like I went nuts for no reason and not because they jumped into it attacking me. Forward. Oh. No. It depends. Yes. Yeah, so I, I think I think that to start it off though too is it's not necessarily saying that trans women. It all comes down to stuff. I'm glad I look good on camera. I have to say that also was one of the worries. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, but you're about your whole being a YouTuber. I'm always in control of like my angles, oh, yeah, yeah, lighting, that's, that's all that. True. And it's that's like true. they had me in a dusty ass, crazy ass warehouse with <laughs> some really weird lights. You know, there was that's a funny. photo or it was a video that went viral. I thought everyone looked great in the debate. With some, it looked really like, pretty. Some man with a boner in the women's restroom. And there's just some poor woman filming it. Like, am I just supposed to like accept that this is here? So I think there's levels Happens to it. Happens all the time. Trans women who Especially are actually now trans. You know, in we're talking time. gender dysphoria, transitions, making the effort. You know, probably once you reach a certain point in your transition where you can actually assimilate within that space and not cause a disruptance, that would probably be the ideal time to start doing that exactly. right exactly which i 100 percent agree I with comment on blair's point the one thing i kept i'm sure you do my god i'm sure you do now mind you this because it's not in chronological order oh she's god. edited out of order she is edited this is out of after order. that's scary she derailed the entire debate in this looks like next prompt is where they edited it in and Turned it into Maury, right? I was in an episode of Maury because of Blossom and the others, but mostly Blossom. Who cares who's trans and who's cis going in the bathroom? You should be minding your own business, being able to pee and do your business in peace for the most part. That com that um, conversation around this- yeah, In a word where sexual assault like happens, that, I, I care picture, what happens in the bathroom. And I thought to myself, that's really a right wing talking point and conservative propaganda because that's their ideology. A like video of a real life occurrence is to women a right wing talking point. First of all, when that sentence does doesn't happen. even make sense. It's structured about as illogically as every other sentence that came out of your mouth the entire shoot. Oh my God, awkward. Oh my God. Now, one of the reasons why I'm frustrated that this is edited out of order is that at this point, Violet, I mean, Blossom, had already made Violet. a violent threat. <laughs> right. 
she had already derailed the shit. So, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see all over my face. I'm already upset, right? I know my own self and I look pretty upset. And mind you, it's hard for me to make an upset face because of the amount of Botox I've had. So for me to look like that, for me to be frowning at all, when those muscles have been paralyzed for a minute, <laughs> that's how you know I was upset. My God. So I wish it was an order because why would they end you know, I'm watching it knowing that so she had already threatened she had someone waiting outside for me. But the viewer doesn't. They use you as the baseline to I don't think they even had that in the actual video. Amplifying how weird this propaganda. How is it Ask propaganda if it's a thing that really happened? It was caught on video. Like it was an actual occurrence. It okay. wasn't staged. It it happened, and that's not the only. It's not an isolated incident. But that's not enough for me to say because actors can do that. Who knows? They could have been. In Isn't it so much easier just to say like, yeah, that's gross and wrong that someone would expose themselves in a bathroom and just condemn it and look like a normal person doing right. it rather than to stretch your you know i use the word mind loosely but to stretch uh -huh. your mental capacity to say it was actors it was right-wing propaganda that's a lot why why can't you just be like yeah that's gross and, and that doesn't actually represent all right. trans women or and trans women in general but that's community. clearly like a exactly. cross-dresser isn't it easier just to say get the cross-dressers out of the trans community rather than to cover for the cross-dresser making the trans community look crazy i do agree with like, that is, it, it's wouldn't true. that be easier it's wrong make you look more sane make trans people everywhere look more sane because that's what i'm trying to do in this moment regardless of how it's being perceived by them. I don't know what to say, guys. I agree with in that. In that moment, I'm that's saying, crazy. that's a cross-dresser. And we got to return to the times where the trans community was like, you are not us. Because y'all do stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to get to the actual first prompt, which was edited out of order. And we're going to see if they keep in how the liberals came and derailed it and made it an episode of Maury, an episode of Judge Judy, a uh -huh. debate about the validity of my career. That was how the debate actually started. And I've met many trans veterans that I've paid respect to publicly on social media, and I think it's amazing, actually. So if you're kicked out and it was once, you know, the norm well, that you the could, you're I'm offering speaking them, though. though. If you're kicked out and you, it once was the norm for you to participate in the military, I like that. But at the same time, so if that know. is what is determined for the ultimate safety and effectiveness of the military nothing should come before that blair have you ever the worked directly bombs, with trans because the people? second bomb blair have you ever worked directly with trans people and look at my face look I at him, him like he is too. stuck that's on you because you part. must be that's the sad part right have you ever worked with trans people all right let's count the times the on either of my channels right I'm working with them right here, first of all, on set. All y'all are trans minus one. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is the beginning. I hope that they, I hope this is unedited. Have you ever worked directly? I am right now. I am right now. No, We're directly in by services in terms of nonprofits <laughs> so and actually she's a getting clients killed. She's not That's grassroots. My entire career. She is not a grassroots not person grass because truth be told, a lot of our community what does even mean? is in grassroots. Have you ever had a client list of transgender that people that you actually took care second. of? Hold on just a second. Took care of them like, what, like paid their bills? No, I'm I don't sorry. Offering them you services, getting them through services. I've helped a lot of trans people. I've lost that popping the fuck out and involving herself in this I really want to see what you've done for those organizations because I don't see any of y'all on the front line. Any of y'all? The front line? Like, what are you talking about? I've dedicated, hold on, hold on. I've dedicated my entire life to in my own way and you can disagree with that because we all have our vehicles and our methods Correct. towards Absolutely. promoting trans acceptance and the ultimate progression of the quality of life of trans people i've dedicated my entire life to that right entire I have life millions of people every single month on all my social media and i have people reaching out all the time saying that i've saved them from so just like we mentioned doing? suicide what are you physically, physically doing physically yeah. the they're so stupid these morons, what are you physically doing? I just said I reach millions of people, many of which are trans every single month, and it's about what I'm physically doing? What does yeah, that what, even mean? Yeah, what, are you gonna mean? go ahead and jack people off? What does that even Do mean? Do we need to be washing their cars? Washing their clothes? Do we need what to be mowing their lawns? What are you talking about? Grass what roots, does that mean? Grassroots. Pretty sure I started at zero subscribers and zero views, and worked my way up to millions and hundreds of millions, right? What's more, what's more grassroots exactly. than that? 
So you're part of these organizations that probably existed before you joined them. Where, where are your grassroots? My God, it this was crazy. so stupid. And this went on for so long. This whole debate and was I crazy. Hope it, and I hope it shows. And I hope it shows B- Miss Blossom putting those hands in my face repeatedly. I don't think right? it does show that. Oh, my God. That long arm, that stretchy arm. Oh, my God. And I'm a little nervous to hear about I'm the, thinking what happened behind that the little scenes. violent threat is coming up soon. So that better be in. Wait. Have you ever taken okay, on so a client the thing. Have, have you like ever a had someone call you I'm homeless sorry, you and have give like, them resources? I'm sure you guys feel very... You, you guys are asking questions and you have no interest in the answer. I'm sure you guys are very, very proud because of the fact that you can walk... Because you're going around in circles, Blair. That's what we're oh saying. God, How could it be a circle when I haven't answered the question at all? circles. You haven't even let our I'm sure you guys are very proud that you can enter a building and work with 25 people at a time. I access millions every month, babe. Oh, that is not what not what it is. You know, you can... It's really disappointing that you would ever equate... This is disappointing. And I do think that comes off a little like she's devaluing what they're doing, but it is different. It is different what she's trying to say. It's very disappointing that I would disrespect all people involved in community service while y'all are disrespecting me. Yeah, and that's the only reason that it comes off like Blair is disrespecting them. Downplaying what I've done. Person does not mean right. You know, I get what she's saying. I don't know. People love when you have this self awareness to say and state your own flaws, right? Or what you may be doing wrong. But God forbid you have even a drop of self-awareness of things you maybe have done right or been good at or done well, which is my ability to access people all over the planet. I've done that decently well, right? When you start at reaching zero people and you end up reaching hundreds of millions over the years, I've done that well. Right. Have I done that the best? No, I am not PewDiePie. Ha-ha. Have I done it Ha-ha. close to the best in the entire trans community? Yes, and I'm not big-headed for saying that. That's called self-awareness. There are not that many trans influencers That's true. that have the size of audience that I do or have reached as many people. So for y'all to sit up here and downplay me and devalue is so gross because it's weird. I didn't come in there downplaying what you guys do. You're not not that grassroots. I even knew, what right? does that even mean? Today, Y'all walked into it knowing exactly what I do. Don't know what you do, but even if I did, I definitely wouldn't have walked in there downplaying it, degrading you. Yeah, that was shitty. Like I, just I, so I, did I do agree. I do agree that it's social shitty. workers that actually Correct. do help trans people. Okay. And it's really disappointing that, that you actually guys do are help trans people. What the I do. Like what does Blair not help people? When you say something about what is that cut? That cut? What was that cut for? Let's rewind about 10 seconds. Look at that cut. Are okay. disrespecting what the fuck I do, right? When you say so. Y'all saw that was a cut, right? Oh my God, how awkward. I'm looking that way and then my head's over here. That's a cut. So obviously oh I paused it. This is my first time watching. I don't know what it jumps to, but <laughs> because I was there in real life, I know that it got extremely intense. So if that gloss is over and it just moves on, then it was cut out. And that seems also like perfect timing for Vi- for uh, Blossom's little, I got someone waiting for you outside. Comment yeah, that me. definitely that is well. not in the video. That's so scary. I just so really scary. hope that the people at the top that you're referring to aren't transphobic. Because let's be clear of the isms that are oh in the God. military. Man, we live in America. People are allowed Excuse me, to I'm be. speaking. Do not interrupt oh. a black trans woman when she's speaking. You've been interrupted. You're pathetic, Blossom. You're truly a pathetic person. Oh my God. Do not interrupt a black trans woman while she's speaking. Demanding respect based on her skin color and her identity, but is in the same breath degrading what other people do as a career. And in the same breath, violently threatening me, which it's looking like it's not even in there. So congrats. Congrats, you're on the right side, the correct side that would cover for you. However. I can't say I don't agree with Blair. It's fucking awkward. That is pathetic. As a Democrat, as a progressive, as you a liberal, that is awkward. You are not owed respect based on your skin color or your identity. You're owed respect on based on being a respectable person, which you're not. 
you're simply not, right? When you escalate a political debate, what's supposed to be a battle of the minds to something physical, you're not a respectable person. When you make a conscious choice to, to get that wig from Dollar Tree. And, and de- like, take it away the validity and can't of Blair. And find crazy. it within you to drive a couple more miles at least to Party City. We couldn't at least be hitting on Party City. My that God. wig was the assault. Oh, I like her So you want to talk about hitting people? <laughs> I like her hair. How about you wear a wig that hits on anything? Because that's hitting on nothing. Oh, my God. I like it. Blair. Do not <laughs> interrupt a black trans woman while she's speaking. For what? For what? Because what you have to say is so intelligent and so worth listening to. You're the dumbest person in the room, actually, which is kind of saying a lot. Me, when, it times, to in, when it comes times. to isms, did the interrupter just again, say if you use are her black, skin tone to you say you could black, interrupt her? If you are black and That's trans amazing. and you want to go into the military, I am quite sure that my experience <sighs> would not look the same as y'all's. And if we can't wake that up, then we're really being complicit. They don't look I don't, at your I don't race. Think, I don't think your but skin you, tone makes any difference. Well, somebody, yeah, again, it does. No, well, somebody, somebody does. Somebody who's in the military. For you to tell a black person that is so As somebody who's something, for you to tell a person of color here. Do you have anything else, girl? It is so awkward. It's so uncomfy. Do you have anything else to utilize? Oh my God. Then that? At best, that's just fucking obnoxious. I really like Sasha too. I thought Sasha was pompous, like so racist. Yes. (laughs) Demanding that you have an ability to speak over someone else because of your skin tone. That's racist. And and the lady and just like I said, is the interrupter. Using her skin tone to stop an interruption, like I, I'm so confused, genuinely confused. Because I am. This is my experience and this is my reality. First of all, it has that is so disrespectful to tell a person, I'm of have color, an a black person, how they should feel. How dare you sit up there okay, and well, say no? It's disrespectful. Hold on, just a second. You screamed at me, and you just screamed at me. No, you're being screamed. So this is the first prompt. Oh my God. So which which you going to? You wanted me here, so I'm Replay. here. Oh you ain't so we just so want we you to calm down and speak like no, that. What it's are not you not talking about? It's not Let's my fault talk. that y'all don't understand respect. Let's talk. You're interrupting. Oh my God. Everything. Can you please stop? 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 Okay. We're good. You need to calm down. No, you do, honey. You need to oh calm God. down. So get a Xanax for her. <laughs> that Xanax was never got for her. Oh my God. This was the beginning. This is just the first prompt. How crazy. The this most disrespectful insane. one wants to say no one else understands respect there. I do have to agree. Lawson was so disrespectful in this debate. Oh, oh keep, your, keep it cute, girl. Good. Keep it real cute. Okay. Your body... And I don't want to disrespect anyone, keep but she was cute. so rude the entire debate. It was crazy. How about you find cute? Land on cute. Right? I'll meet you there because I've been on cute, stayed on cute. Throwing out violent threats in a political debate. Yoking up on the smallest one on the panel. Did you just tell a black trans woman? He did. And the what are you going to do about thing. it? Because I have his back. He huh. is so sweet. He was a sweetheart. And again, talking about privilege. Hopefully it's in the edit. He he opened up about his life. Yeah. He's the sad. opposite of privileged, right? And I'm sad. not about to play a Prussian Olympics with you, but... My supporters who have seen the Had multiple hard, times that I've opened about life. my life and my childhood, which y'all only know a fraction of, by the way, y'all know I don't come from privilege. Miss been to the White House. Miss been on Ellen DeGeneres and was gifted a full ride through college. Had a moment on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Handed one of those big checks, posing with a nice smile because she was given a free ride through medical school. By Caitlyn Jenner, who also put her on I Am Kate, a Kardashian spinoff. So, you're the most privileged person sitting there. Guess who's never been on American network television at all? Hi. Because you're conservative. You've been on CNN. My equivalent, Fox News, has me blacklisted. You've been to the White House. I've been doing politics for almost eight years. Never been to the White House, at least inside. I'm behind that fence. (laughs) Looking, taking pictures like a tourist, if I'm ever there. Like a tourist. So... (laughs) 
Where's the privilege? Listen, I do love mostly. DC, but that is so sad. Oh my God, someone get his annex. Stop, stop, yeah. we're good. Keep, your keep it cute, girl. Keep it real cute. Oh, the bodyguards outside, but the rest but keep of it shit real isn't. cute okay. now. The bodyguards outside, keep it real cute now. Yeah, so she, this was before and she did say it. That's proof right there. So there was no security during this Jubilee shoot. So you're talking about someone outside for me. Your goons. Your little bodyguards, your people. Oh my God. Like, you're disgusting, Blossom. So that is at least one of the comments about someone being outside that I didn't hear because it was a commotion being on set there. Too much drama, but yelling, screaming. You right. and another person came and told me she was talking about people outside. So yeah. like... <laughs> but wants to yell about disrespect yeah. and then went home and did a post about violence against trans women. Want to talk about that? The epidemic of violence against trans women. So does it not count if it's against Blair White? All right. So it's true. Not that's the end of the transgender military prompt. That's crazy. And it's just so crazy. What I can tell you as someone who lived it was a lot was cut out of the oh what have you done? With your career. Shit towards me. Right? And that's important because it lays the foundation it was of a what lot Blair's response is going to be opinion. later. You know? However. It's true. I will that also is so say. Important. Even what they did show the does, are gonna be. in my opinion, accurately portray how disgusting they were. It's okay for minors to get top surgery. <laughs> really? You guys <laughs> waited on that? That's pretty vile. That is terrifying. <laughs> By the way, at this point in the debate, I was instructed that I have to speak last every time. That is terrifying prompt. to agree and with. Granted, I don't know. they gave Big Mouth know. Blossom so the same scary. rule, but mind you, because of that rule where I had to speak last, and there was a. And guys, when I say that's crazy, people to say it's okay for minors to get top surgery, I say that. I say that as someone that has observed, like, girls changing and becoming women and you know getting breasts and and going through having their period and all these things that is such a drastic and insane experience for women to go to i'm not, I'm not saying i know what that is because I, I have no fucking idea i could never imagine at the same time that is so drastic obviously there's gonna be a, a lot of girls that are very uncomfortable with 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 their body growing and creating breasts. That's obviously going to be a very uncomfortable thing. So when you have trans and, and transitioning being as popular as it is and people pushing, well, if you, you, you don't like that, you want to play with Barbies, little boy? Why don't you get tits and cut off that dick? It's, it's, it's not, it's not right how much social media and and everything is is pushing people to to, to transition like like one of my ex-boyfriends transitioned was living and like had a life as a trans woman so it it, it it really upsets me when i see any minor getting something that that cannot ever you can never get your your breasts back when you cut them off i think that is so so tragic same thing with bottom surgery it's fucked up let let the medical field progress far enough to where it's 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 repairable afterwards be, be, before you ever even consider talking about children getting irreversible irreparable i mean i mean th there are some people that literally can never orgasm for the rest of their life and that hurts my heart and makes me furious it makes me so fucking angry and and it's coming in five or ten years it's coming we will have a wake up call. It is coming, and I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. A lot. I'm that so was afraid said of what that's going to that look like. On, that I couldn't even so address. Scared. Otherwise, they would just say, "Cut." I'm Blair, so no talking till the end for you, right? And actually, it was not equal even with Blossom in terms of having that specific rule because, for me, from what I can remember, like I was the actual only person talking last every time. It was always Blossom and then me. It was always me last. So. So annoying. I like this Jubilee. I want to be on a Jubilee episode one day, but this is uncomfortable. Passionate <laughs> about because I think there are few things. I would love to be on a Jubilee episode, honestly. More irresponsible 
more. And I say that as a gay guy living with brain know, cancer, a disabled gay man living with brain and cancer. And saying a child can consent you know? to permanently removing a body part that serves an extremely important function. The idea that a child can consent to a sex change, to a gender Could not agree surgery, enough. Could not agree enough. If you believe that, there's really nothing that you can believe they can't consent to, right? Because that's pretty extreme. That's, that's so extreme. body modification under the best circumstances. So you want to move aside all the complications, all the things you can't do, the sterilization, not being able to feed your kids. You can even set that aside. Just the permanent body modification. I mean, you have to be so demented <laughs> to believe that a child True. fully understands. I heard a few conversations about, well, if the child fully understands, they don't. They don't. They never will. They don't, they're children. Because they're children. Again, I don't understand this obsession with obsession. other people's other people's children. It's about caring it about is, kids. I got, I'm talking. Oh my God. Let her explain oh, herself. But you know what? I don't care if you're talking, sir. Because first of all, yeah, you you're not going to paint the picture really shouldn't correctly. be there. And second of all, for you to you're putting word oh you're God. putting things on oh. me that are just not true. This obsession. No, you're not going to just be able to filibuster and use that word. The filibuster. And then, because I'm supposed to talk last, the moderator lets you talk for two more minutes, and then I forget that you even said obsession and didn't you know, clock yeah, that. Right. I'm going to clock it immediately. Right. You're not going to say, you're not going to twist this and say I'm obsessed with kids. That's y'all. My God, how awkward is this? Non-binary should not be considered under the trans umbrella. Oh my God, I don't remember how many people, all the conservative ones. <laughs> Let's go, girl. I love Andrew. Andrew's so sweet. Like, we just knew. He was cute. And I just knew <laughs> that my whole side was coming. Y'all better not disagree on this one. <laughs> this is evil. I think that the concept of a transgender umbrella is inherently an issue, right? Because it's when crazy. We're talking about something as nuanced, complex, it's, a, um, it's simple. Full of social dynamics, medical dynamics, it should be so simple. many things to be considered. When you're talking about a transsexual, you should really be specific, right? It should be and this very entire concept actually transgender, of transgender men, is transgender woman. Relatively simple. New. Like it came about in the 70s or 80s through queer theory when originally it was about transsexuals, which was considered a medical diagnosis. Transsexuals. I don't do a good enough job of being that specific and clear on my channel about that and I want to start doing that and that's why I made a point to do it here transgender is a much newer term than transsexual right. transsexual has been here about a century that term transgender couple decades they changed it they switched it up they that's broadened true. it to include people like the guy in that clown outfit and for me the only path forward that I can see towards fixing all this trans shit and the problems we're having is returning to what a transsexual is. So going forward, just be ready for me to make that point a lot because that's very important. Which was a medical process and it defines something very specific. When I meet a trans person, right? Like a trans woman, a trans man, there is an inherent camaraderie. Like when you, you know, mentioned, I can't take this off. Part of me almost got a little bit emotional. I know it's hard to believe people think I have emotions, but I really do. And because I saw you in that moment and I said, you know what, we are, similar in that way. We may be different in other ways. We don't know each other very well, but we have that. When I talk to or I'm around a non-binary person, it doesn't really, you know, click. It doesn't connect connection. because it is so different. So I think that's inherently, I should be it's able to so see some semblance of my that's own fine. issue within that community. person. And I don't yeah. when they're non-binary at all. And so I have no issue with bi what I got in common with the clown outfit. Oh, we I don't know, know if it is. We're weakening our borders by creating this divide within our own community. It's not a this divide. So They're just two Look, different I, things. This isn't your community, babe. First of all, I reject kind of the word community because I often feel like it's not really a community, right? But if it is a community, you're definitely not in it. <laughs> so how dare you tell me about the borders as if you're really patrolling it because you're not. <laughs> Again. Picture Rachel Dolezal telling a bunch of black women that they're weakening their borders by not allowing her to speak up on it. I agree with it. I was like, what is this? This is stupid. How can you be a them? Blah, 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 blah. You were and correct. I did the whole thing, the grammatically. <laughs> You're interrupting me. But you were correct. I'm just saying. I'm agreeing with they you. They asked me <laughs> to comment, and your comment was <laughs> I'll talk whenever I want on the trans debate as a cast member who's trans. Right. Whenever I want, actually. My God. And I was agreeing with you. 
you had the correct position that all those made up identities were trash or at the very least not to be compared to a real medical situation. All of you, a real, I'm a real person. Answer. This is my experience, just as yours, sorry, it's just as yours is the trans experience. That just as yours is the trans experience. See how they tell on themselves? He just, he's separating us all thing. the time in his own words, but when I do it, it's a problem. It's two separate as things. As a non-binary person. Is that's different. In your trans experience. Trans experience. So you're even saying it's different, but also saying it's the same. But if I say it's different, then I'm the bigot. That's crazy. As a trans woman, as a trans man, or as whatever. But I'm not here to belittle your experience or to tell you that you don't exist. And that's the difference between you and I. Saying they're different does not say you don't exist, though. You. And when I say you, I'm talking about conservatives. They're just separate. And maybe it is you. You're you see me raising my hand because <laughs> every time I tried to speak, they would that director said cut. So me raising my hand is him addressing me and me saying, Hi, can I say something soon? Because he's saying a lot of shit. And I would like to say something back. You're part of the thing. So, You're part so of the thing. So here's why, where I get to interject so because there's a lot okay. of things said Stop about me. Stop addressing her and just talk to everybody. Okay. But what is your dysphoria? Well, I, there was some things. Okay. Uh, I, I, I like you. okay. So, Do you see? That is crazy. How awkward is this? Oh my God. I'm just right back in. I'm so mad. So... Another complete. And I love Jubilee. That's why this is so hard for me. Like I, I really, I've applied to be on right? so many different Jubilee exists. episodes, so and I've never gotten a response. But still, but still. We know you exist. You're here. You're not fictitious, right? My point is, you're different than me. You're looking like a fictitious character in that outfit, right? You're looking like <laughs> Blair, oh a Sims character on clown mode. Right. You know, when you pick a job for the Sims character, you're wearing the exact outfit that Sims character would rolling up to work as a clown. <laughs> but yeah, you're here. So I hate that argument. The whole non-binary people exist. No one's saying you don't. We're saying it's different. They're Not two one separate person. Things. That's so it. that straw man argument is crazy. It is crazy. And I don't even think you deny that. But yet when I say it, it's an issue. Right. The same way that he said he can't take that off. You can, right? It's different. At the very least, it's different. And when we have a community that there are so many categories, demi-girl, demi-boy, astrosexual, all this shit, but y'all can't fathom that maybe that would be a different category than what I am when we have such different, as you keep saying, and everyone keeps saying, experiences? Such different experiences. A bisexual is different than a gay man. Exactly. Exactly. I just want to ask you a question. What exactly. is your dysphoria, though? Because gender dysphoria or sex Thank you, dysphoria, Sarah. As I would Watch how he can't it, say shit. Is a, an uncomfortability between. Thank you for asking that question, Sarah. It's the watch only how... reason anyone should transition is gender dysphoria. The answer, from what I remember, it didn't describe gender dysphoria at all. <laughs> My secondary sex characteristics. Not just what I wear on a daily basis, because masculinity it's not just clothing. doesn't have anything to do with being trans. But that's exactly. not true. But that is not true. You can have. See? I couldn't believe it. You're saying that's not true to someone who has gender dysphoria. To real transgender people that really are living and their lives. And that's not as being maybe a sign that you don't have that. As a transgender person, that's crazy. Have dysphoria without having to be dysphoric about your sex parts but what is your you dysphoria, dysphoria what is, what about is your anything dysphoria? straight cis women have dysphoria about their breasts all the time they get breast augmentation it's not dysphoria. that doesn't mean that doesn't he is compared to a woman getting a boob job because that's what it is to him it's just aesthetics it's yeah, just choosing to dress like a clown or choosing to get bigger boobs as woman. a woman it's crazy no we're going to break it down it's a medical disorder a mental disorder a condition that causes you immense distress and i promise you as someone who has it and at one point in my teenagehood couldn't leave my house couldn't talk to people couldn't, couldn't participate in society was beyond depressed i mean it feels dumb even saying the word depressed i promise you that's worse than the Gender woman who's like, I want bigger boots. it's so awful i want it's to put on a some of the had it guys today. it's true and you don't know my life you're not in my life well that's why i asked you a question you don't know what i, I experienced the, the different things that i experienced Personally, I cannot believe that I grew up as, you know, 
this five-year-old little kid oh experiencing just crippling gender dysphoria, like horrible thoughts, struggled so much my entire life to be sitting in this room and you're explaining to her what dysphoria is. I have my experience. It it's doesn't mean amazing. that I didn't have crippling. You got a different I experience. It doesn't mean you that got that a You got a different experience, babe. There's also and why is there an issue saying that it's a different LGBT experience? Spectrum, why is that a bad thing? I don't understand that. There was a it. number that the life expectancy of a trans woman was 35. That was recent. So this is a moment where, so this is a moment where Blossom decides to turn up on me. And I think it's gonna be edited to pieces because it was very intense and very long-winded. Um, where I am saying that how can you believe all these statistics coming out of these activist groups when for the longest time they said that trans people typically die at 35, trans women specifically, and they had to rescind that number a few years ago and say, oops, we actually sourced that number from prostitutes. So they had an entire Crazy. community of people scared and like gaslit into thinking that they weren't going to live past 35, which as you could probably imagine plays into like how hysterically they function you know, in society engage in activism because they right. think it's literally life and death and people just believe that i even took that at face value for some time then they rescind it and i'm like how toxic that we just ran with that number that you had an entire community of people that are already suffering from you know mental issues thinking that they're gonna die at 35 for uh, depression suicidal thoughts exactly blossom immediately says that's because it's from black uh trans women i'm like no they source it from prostitutes and then she couldn't get off off of that You'll see. Then did a couple years ago after like over a decade of that being like just factually. This is such you know, a crazy shared. video. And I always thought that my life was statistically going to end at 35. So, but those numbers were based on by those organizations, prostitute deaths. So it's not always the most reputable numbers they're getting. You know what I mean? And these activist organizations are political too. We get caught up in calling them activists and we think it's this emotional, spiritual thing, but they are political organizations. Yeah. So I am an activist. And so a lot of what you're talking about really was focused more on black trans women because black trans women no. do not live past the age of 35. No, it was sourced from prostitutes. The statistic was sourced from prostitutes and not of any race. But as she's done this whole time, she will make that about race. She definitely will. Because oftentimes it is our group within the trans community that is often murdered, we're often harassed, we're often discriminated against. And so a lot more of that focus has had to be around black, brown, indigenous folks because oftentimes the research goes missing for us. They sourced it and, from prostitutes though. That was the source of the But stat. see, the thing is though, even when we talk about prostitutes, trans women have to sometimes participate in sex work to survive. But they based it off cis prostitutes. Sorry, but, I'm done. It was yes. just, it was they didn't even get the number from trans people. They told the trans community, your life expectancy is 35, and they sourced that number, not even from any demographic within the trans community. That is a crazy They sourced fact. it from prostitutes. That's insane. Biological female prostitutes. That's crazy. And Blossom, well, I hope the edit reflects it, just kept saying, because black trans women, because black trans, it's not about that. The number wasn't even from trans people in general. But she couldn't get that because it has to be about race. It has to be about her. False number. So from what I understand is a lot of that focus has always been around black trans women because we do not oh. get to see the age of 35. You are in a place, when I say privilege, Here we go. you are in a place of privilege where you do not have to worry about the harassment and the discrimination that I face. I face as a black person. I face as a We're black not person. Get I'm not going to say that you do not experience harassment or discrimination that's not what i'm saying because like you said you're a person of nuance and so follow me here when but that, I, it comes that feels that way here. when you say that when you say when you word it is like the that. issue that no one can follow you or that you're literally so incoherent you have engaged in psychobabble for three hours now this is like the last prompt i think the real one right you are running that mouth making zero sense. So is the issue that I'm not following you or is the issue that you're not followable? Come as a person of color, as a black trans woman, you and I do not get to have that same experience. There are you more went to the White House, there are, I didn't. There are more rooms <laughs> that you get to walk in that I will be <laughs> forbidden in. Pick a room. So first of all, we're gonna definitely, right, catch you up to speed. You know, we are not living in Jim Crow, so they're not, are, there's no rooms you're forbidden from, right? I can acknowledge that the experience of a person from one race to the next, there's going to be different experiences between the two. Very different that's experiences. Not, 
that's not questionable. Yeah, because everyone's experience is different. A man and a woman, an Asian and a Latino, everyone has different experiences, right? But the sure. idea that I am somehow on a higher pedestal than you when you've gone to the White House, you've been on Ellen, you've been on a Kardashian show, you got gifted a full ride through school, you've been on CNN. And I have done none of those things, nothing even close, right? I'm blacklisted for my equivalent of CNN, Fox News. Been told that on pretty good faith. Guess they're not ready. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello. Um, never been on American Network Television. I've been on Piers Morgan, you know, Sky News Australia, some of the biggest shows in other countries. My own country doesn't want me on TV, which is fine. I prefer that, actually. I'll be an underground bitch. An underground Loving bitch. Loving that. Ha <laughs> ha. Right? Yeah, because the American crazy. media is toxic, and, and if they give you the green light, that means you're toxic, in my opinion. Um, huh. You know, never been on a talk show. You were not only on a talk show; you got <laughs> one of those big check moments, free ride through school. And what they give it to you for? Because of your identity. Let's just be real. They gave it to you because Caitlyn Jenner said, "I met a black trans woman." And I want to give her a ride through school. Now, God bless. Like, I'm, that's amazing. And awesome, I'm not yeah. saying that shouldn't have happened for you. But if we can just be real, it happened to you because of your identity. And I'm over here, not even some Caucasian ass person like you're saying, by the way. I'm, everyone knows I'm mixed. I'm biracial. Right, exactly. Half Hispanic, half white. And then not exactly half and half, but very Hispanic, very white, but then mixed with a bunch of other things, including 3% black, by the way. <laughs> it's probably like a whole hand, right? Like a whole so, hand. <laughs> I'm not just a trans woman of color. I'm like a trans woman of many colors. <laughs> um, but you and know, even if we're going along with I'm just Blair. a white trans woman with more privilege, pick a room that I can go in that you can't. Pick a door, any room, any door. You were at the White House. You were in the most exclusive room our country has to offer. And I'm behind the fence taking pics like a tourist, despite <laughs> being involved in politics for eight next, years. Next to right. So, next to the despite statues. a lot of politicians following <laughs> me, by the way, it's like multiple members of the Trump family follow me on social media. But I'm never—I was never even in the Trump administration invited to the White House. Guess they weren't ready either, which is fine. And I'm not complaining about that because I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I love my life. I love everything I've created, everything I've ever done. And I love what I represent. And I'm proud to be underground. I'm proud to be this radioactive trans person that you know isn't TV friendly good because that means I'm not sacrificing any of myself to become TV friendly. Right, you're being yourself. You've been handed 100%. everything, Blossom. You should have been handed a different wig. And one thing about it <laughs> is that's why it's important. You should have been handed a different wig. <laughs> and oh one God. thing about it is that's why it's important like someone like me has to create her own space. To Did you create the White House? Did you create CNN? You created your own space? Because I'm pretty sure, and again, no one twists this into me being pompous, me being big headed. This is just being self aware. There were no trans right wing people on social media when I joined, when I started. So I literally it was created Blair, my own space. Period. And of discussion, yeah. Right? In many ways, this debate on Jubilee is happening because I created that space. That doesn't mean I'm big headed. It's just self aware. That is a lane, right wing trans, that did not exist on, on YouTube before me, did it not exist on social media. In fact, was it ever referenced? And she's being was it, honest. Was it I don't even know. known to be like, a it's thing? It's crazy. Because even for years it's during my factual. time on YouTube, people were denying it was even a thing. So, someone who was invited in by spaces that already existed, White House, CNN, Kardashians, Ellen, is preaching to someone who literally had to create her own space that she created and her own space. And calling her that she's not Literally everything roots. you're saying is backwards. It's not even like there's a gray area. It's like, no, for, not even trying to make a pun here, black and white, separate, separate worlds, the truth uh -huh. and a lie, and you're on the side of the lie. Nothing you're saying makes sense. It's actually the exact opposite. And then she's telling her that she's not grass. There's not, not even crazy to me. It's crazy. We're not even splitting hairs. To be able to counteract 
what you're doing. And I'm so not saying, I. and I'm not saying that you don't. But what I'm saying here is, what I'm trying to get you to understand is, my blackness should not have to pay for your whiteness. That doesn't even make sense. Is destroying. Like I said, that doesn't even make sense. But she's not white. What the fuck? She's part white. So She's they next. released a sneak peek with this and they chopped it to hell. And you're going to see that unless the sneak peek is different than the actual video here. But I'm thinking it's probably going to be the same. And I'll fill you in on what you missed. My community. I'm because destroying your community. So are you going to tell all of my exes How are you going to say that and then that's the end? What you're talking about too is there Yep, not they chopped it. We're going to rewind it and I'm going to show you. Look at this. Yikes. Watch. Community. So are you going to tell all of my exes How are you going to say that and then that's the end? What you're talking about. See how they cut to me doing an eye roll and then Sarah talking as if that was really what happened next? No, here's what they edited out. That went on for a while longer. It escalated to Blossom screaming about my whiteness, destroying her blackness. And... Me fighting and Blair's tooth and is nail mixed. with that like, director for her to give me 10 seconds to respond That's to someone crazy. screaming, which they didn't even see. They only showed her saying it calm. She kept saying it, and it got to the point where she was screaming it. Yikes. And she, they didn't let me respond. Blossom was the bully. Is there anyone the who thinks episode. that if I invoked someone's blackness, Literally almost all of the episodes she was for any reason, that the they wouldn't be given side. at least a free crazy. second to respond? Because I'm thinking they would. It was insane. Whereas insufferable i had blossom screaming about my whiteness and what it's doing or not doing and i didn't have even a second to respond i had to beef with the director and it looks like they cut that out they cut to me doing an eye roll and then sarah talking as if that's really what happened next but we're gonna run it one more time so you can see yeah, the, the way my body's positioned and my arms and everything, it's clear time has passed in between this. In fact, that's probably even before that argument with Blossom, what they're showing now, Sarah talking. That's actually probably before. No, it is. Because that thing with Blossom, where she's screaming, you didn't even see her scream, but she's screaming about my whiteness, destroying her blackness. That was the end of the prompt, and it was forced to move on. And I was beefing with the director as I was walking off set. To go back to the line and be like, this is crazy. How are oh you God. not going to let me respond? And they just wouldn't. So that just really goes to show you that even with the bias editing, even with the, the moderator being biased, they still look that bad. But I wish you would have seen how bad they looked. I enjoyed this debate for what it was. So here now is the final I thought. So moving on as if that was really how it went down. Suicide at a higher level as well. Great. I enjoyed this debate for what it was you know um it was quite ugly at certain points and i wish that it was all trans people on the panel because that would have been a, yeah, more appropriate and more fitting oh, true you're so um, offensive you're an offensive okay. person human being yeah. okay okay Just well so you know. I, I find a lot of things over here offensive as well oh yeah. wow um, yeah you're disgusting and i have to I, trust yeah. me I'm disgusted. It sucks because I really like Sasha. I don't know why Sasha's like just the party city it is clown true. costume called me disgusting. Yikes. Mind you, that was not the first time he called me disgusting. I didn't see the other time in the edit. So oh, and it won't be the last. Player. Congrats, social you media will edit. prove Only that. I'm me sure. Once in the edit, but <laughs> it should. You're calling me disgusting. Okay, I am so frustrated with how much was edited out of this, and how even though they still look terrible. Y'all don't even really know how terrible they really were. Like, that's so frustrating. Ugh. But what are you going to do? By no means do they win the debate. So I guess that's Yikes. a W. But I don't know. And it's so awkward because I've I'll never agreed with video. any conservatives. Guys, I have never agreed with any conservatives in my entire fucking in my whole fucking life. Except for trans conservatives. I agree with them 110%. And I've never agreed with any... Like, like, like I, 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 I'm the kind of bitch never read. Never read. Always blue. Like, like I do not agree with Republicans. 
but it, it, it's it's hard it's hard not to when they're when they're you know trans it, 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 i i really think the trans community right now is so uncomfortable and i say, and it's it's it's, it's, it's in such an uncomfortable situation and i say that as somebody like i said i did have very bad gender dysphoria as a little as a little a little kid the worst the worst i wanted to cut my dick off and i don't i'm so glad i didn't i love i love my dick <laughs> you know I, I i love my dick i'm so glad i didn't cut her off but um it's just a, it's just an uh, awkward situation here there's my reaction to blair's uh and and the jubilee trans versus trans conservative versus trans liberal uh, debate you guys let me know what you thought in the comment section I love you. Do not forget to subscribe to your bitch and follow me on Twitch. I love you. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta edit it and, and probably fill some something for the beginning as well still, but I appreciate you and I love you so much. Thanks for watching. And Blair, you truly are one of my favorite people online and that's just a, that's just an FACT fact. I actually lost a friend over my, my last, a friend of like four years last uh my last Blair white reaction i actually lost a friendship because i posted because just because i posted that video and i i i agree and i and i support blair white i actually lost a friend that's not a friend that was never a friend that was never a friend i don't feel bad i don't have any i'm not heartbroken i i i i'm not shook i'm not shaken i'm not crying it ha it happened and oh well i'll move on and i'll survive it's not gonna fucking bother me it's shitty and it's unfortunate but at the same time that is life. I have always supported Blair through her entire experience online. Literally, I, I, I think she didn't, did, she didn't even have 100,000 subscribers when I first subscribed to Blair. Love Blair White so, so, so much. I'm ranting, but I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. I, I post weekly reactions to Madonna and Kylie Minogue, so if you'd like either of them, please make sure to subscribe to your bitch. I'm going to have my reaction to Troy Sivan's new album coming out. Oh, so very soon. I'm so fucking excited. I actually, I'm leaving, I'm leaving for Texas to go visit a friend and we are going to see, me and my friend are going to see Miss Kesha Rose, my, my favorite legend. I love Kesha so much. I'm seeing her VIP. I didn't get meet and greet for Ohio, but I got meet and greet for Las Vegas. I'm seeing her twice on the tour. So I'm excited. I'm so fucking excited. Guys, good things are coming. I am currently sleeping on the floor, literally right here. Things are hard. Things are rough. I'm struggling. But I, I know in my heart that good things are coming. I'm going to edit this video and, and, and take a look at everything. But I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you all very soon. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Because honestly, that was fucking crazy. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And also leave a comment. I respond to pretty much every single one of you that leaves a comment. If you really did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe. And all my other links are listed down below. And follow me on Twitch for nightly live streams. Love you guys so much. Thank you.